welcome back to my channel guys or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe down below and leave me a big thumbs up if the video really helped you guys and leave me a comment down below anything you guys would like so without further ado let's jump right in as you guys seen in the title today we are going to be talking about the covid restrictions and crossing over the border and crossing back in through the border so you guys can kind of be informed of that. I got a lot of questions about COVID on my TikTok video. So if you guys are coming from over there, hello. Thanks for stopping by. And yes, so COVID right now is a big thing. We had to get the shot for COVID for your appointment. So if you guys don't know that, you have to get the shot. It is a requirement. They will ask for it at your medical exam for you to show proof of that shot. So you will need to have it um, and take it. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the COVID first and then we'll talk about when we crossed over. So they do say you need the COVID shot to also fly the plane and come back. So I got my COVID shot about exactly a week and a half before my flight. So we didn't fly straight into Mexico. We flew to El Paso and then we crossed over walking. So that might make a little difference if you guys are flying straight into Mexico. I don't know about that. Maybe try to find other videos that explain that, but that was not my case. So what I am talking about is not that. So it's not the same thing. It's something totally different, I would think, or maybe it's the same. I don't know, but maybe try to find more information on that if you're going straight into Mexico because the rules will be a little bit different. Like I was saying, I got my COVID shot a week and a half before my appointment. So I did end up getting the Johnson & Johnson. They call it the Jensen also, I believe it's called the shot. You do need the shot. It is required. I repeat myself again because um, it's really required. So there is two types of shots out right now that you guys can get. There is that Johnson & Johnson and then there's the other shot that requires two shots to, for it to be complete. They gave me three week notice for my appointment when they sent me that appointment letter. So I didn't have much time to prep for anything. I still had to talk to my lawyers and stuff. So I didn't really have time to kind of like decide what to do. My best option, I'm going to try to see if I can find the part in the email where it says it. If you get the one that has two shots, you're required to have both of them by the time your interview is. I try really hard to look for it. I read everything on there and that's how come I ended up getting the Johnson & Johnson because it's only one shot. If you get the two shots, if you get more time than I did, the earliest you can get that second shot is 21 days. So once you get the first shot, you have to wait 21 days to get that second shot. So if your guys' appointment is like a month and a half, they give you more time, you can do that and go ahead and do that if that's your option. But if you guys are like me and they give you like two to three weeks, you can't do that because once you get over there, they will give you a blue sheet denied for not having all your COVID shots so until you can prove that you have that second dose your case will be halted and you will be stuck in Mexico so I don't think we any of us want that so I really really highly recommend you guys get that Johnson & Johnson one shot COVID one and get it over with and don't have to be dealing with all that there's a lot of people saying how they got a blue sheet because they didn't have that second COVID shot. And they were saying that they couldn't find it anywhere in Mexico. It is very scarce over there. So if you guys want to run into that, I mean, I don't know if you guys already took that one shot. Just inform yourself and try to look for the COVID shot before you even go if you're planning to do that one. And want to get the COVID shot over there once you're in Mexico just inform yourselves like I keep saying your best bet just do the Johnson & Johnson one shot and you'll be good to go here in the US everywhere they're doing it so it's easy to find it 
Um, a lot of places don't offer the Johnson & Johnson, so you'll have to lug around a little bit. It took me a little bit to find it, but I found it. They have a whole setup just for COVID shots and COVID tests and stuff, so I found it there. So you have to, have to, have to have that COVID shot to come back. It is a requirement for your residency approval. It's required. They will write it on your medical exam if you don't take the proof and you need to take the original little card they give you they don't want to copy they want the original little card so yes covid shot is required yes you need it yes you need to have both doses if you get that one that needs the two doses yes the one dose one counts johnson and johnson which is the one i got so that is about it, I think. If you guys have any other questions about the COVID, let me know. If I didn't cover anything, let me know and I will get to you guys if I know the answer, if I went through it, if I know what's up. <laughs>
We are welcoming into Mexico. So I do go into depth in my vlog that will be coming up shortly if you guys want to subscribe and stay tuned for that. I also gave you guys a lot of information in that vlog throughout my whole process every single day. So if you guys want to check that one out, maybe I mention other stuff that I don't mention here. But as you guys can see that when we were crossing back, I didn't get to record because at this point we had bought a lot of luggage and we brought back three whole big bags of luggage. So I didn't really have hands or space to record us crossing back, but it's basically the same process. It's like a little tunnel as we were walking through, as you guys just saw to Mexico. It's like that there, but halfway through the tunnel, there is security guards or patrols, I guess they're border patrol they ask you to have your passport out and they want to see that visa stamp for mine and then my husband's well they just thought it's an american passport so they were like okay you guys can keep going and then we kept going so once we got there there was a pretty big line it was like all around and then all around and then like right there toward the bridge it was a really long line we actually stood through the line it did go kind of fast i think we were only in the line like 30 minutes but you guys are doing this process you guys don't have to stand in the line we kind of realized that once we were closer to the door and asked the guard and the guard was like oh yeah you guys just come in you turn right right there and you have to turn in all your paperwork so if there is a line go up to the door and tell the guard that you guys need to go to the um immigration services thing i think they call it um, just say you have to turn in a packet from your visa and they'll let you in if there's a line and you just turn right because the line is everybody trying to get through going through the scanners and they don't want a lot of people in the little like area right there where they scan people so they make you wait in that line so if you guys are doing that don't wait in line just walk up to the door and talk to the guard let them know you're turning in your packet uh, we did wait like 30 minutes like I said but we didn't know we weren't sure that's what we did yeah so they didn't ask for no COVID shots either no negative tests they didn't ask anything about the COVID once we were in that building either nothing so if you guys are worried about the COVID test, in reality, they don't care. They don't ask for it. They don't even need it on the planes or crossing the border walking. They do seem to be more strict if you guys are flying internationally. So if you guys get your airplane from wherever you live straight into Juarez, they're probably going to ask you for it or be more strict about it. But since we did that, and technically we're still in the U.S. when we boarded the planes, they didn't care. So, I mean, they don't even care at the border, so... I think that's about all the information I have for you guys about COVID and crossing over walking. So it's really simple for you guys to do it that way. If you guys have the option to do it that way, it is cheaper anyway, as what we did. If you're worried about the COVID test, do it that way. Easy peasy simple. So yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And leave me a comment down below. Maybe if your experience was different or if it was the same. So everyone who's watching the video can be informed too. Let's see, you know, if we all had the same experience, you know, give them a little bit more confidence in doing it this way so even if your outcome was different just let us know so everybody can be aware that maybe it might be different but that is how it went down for us so i am just speaking out of my experience yeah guys thank you guys for watching and bye guys